We made it to a 700 credit score and we still got a month left to go. Guys, TransUnion, we hit 700 finally. For those of you who have been watching this little, I guess you could say series, um, you know that I started at a 517 only seven short months ago and now one of my credit scores is at a 700. Um, Equifax is 684 or 685 um, as of today. So 700 and 685 as of today, guys. <laughs> it is great to have a finally a good credit score, a quote unquote good credit score. We still have a month left, so I know that I'll be able to raise that Equifax score up to a 700, but I'm excited to see exactly just how high my TransUnion is gonna go by the end of the year. Um, and we got a couple more little updates going on with what I have going on um, with how I'm raising my credit score. And a little bit later on in the video, I'm gonna open up Credit Karma and show you exactly what's going on and how I did it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and smash the like button for that YouTube algorithm. Guys, you guys have been killing it lately and I assume I have to since we've been getting some really good responses on these videos. The channel has been growing a tremendous amount. Hope you guys have had a good Thanksgiving. Now that it's December, we gotta worry about Christmas. And what better Christmas gift than getting a better credit score? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take you step by step to exactly how I went from a 517 to a 700 credit score in less than a year, in seven short months. So the first thing I did was downloaded Credit Karma. Once I downloaded Credit Karma, I was able to see exactly what my credit scores were on TransUnion and Equifax, um, what derogatory marks I had, what hard inquiries I had, the whole nine yards. What I was able to do from there, from then, was strategize a way to raise my credit score as quickly as possible. So step one was open up <laughs> Credit Karma, download the app, and see what I had going on with my credit score. Now the second step I took on my journey to a better credit score was I got, I applied for and I got a secured credit card. Now, I never knew much about credit cards before I got this credit card. When I looked into it, it was fairly simple. Um, my whole idea was this. I'm gonna get a secured credit card, or any credit card really, but I figured I should start with a secured, that way I'm almost guaranteed to get a credit card. So, start with a credit card, get a credit card that has no annual fee, and never be late on the payment. Pay it off in full before the end of the month, that way it acquires no interest. That way I'm actually owning this credit card for free. I'm using it to build credit, and I'm not paying any interest, and I'm not paying any annual fees, and I'm getting a 2% cash back on every purchase I make. So it is paying me over time also. So what I did was, I went to discover.com and I got a discovered it secured credit card. What I had to do was, I sent 200 bucks to discover, and they sent me this credit card with a $200 limit. Now, just because I gave them $200 doesn't mean I actually paid for the credit card. What that is, is just a deposit showing that here's an incentive, I'll give you $200, you give me a $200 limit on this credit card, if I don't pay, you can take that money and cancel the card. So, realistically, all I would have to do was um, use the card, make my payments on time, and within six to eight months, I will get that money back and they'll increase my limit, my spending limit on the credit card, my line of credit. Um, so I did that for a little while and it started really bumping my credit up. It started moving my credit up and down, fluctuating my credit. Um, next thing I did was I started looking at my derogatory marks and my unpaid bills, unpaid debts, would you, what I say. And I rounded everything up together and I had about, maybe three grand altogether in unpaid uh, bills. So what I started doing was, I paid off the lowest one and I waited to see, once it fell off my credit report, how it would affect my credit report. Paid it off and lo and behold, it shot my credit score up, boom. So what I ended up doing was, I paid all my debts off, all my derogatory marks, 
except for one because it was seven years old and ended up rolling off in October. But I started paying off from smallest to biggest all the debts that I owed. And even though I wouldn't pay them off in full, let's say I would make payments on them, it would still raise my credit score because it showed that I was lowering an amount, lowering a debt owed. So once I started doing that and using my secured credit card, I really started raising my debt, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> raising my credit score a lot. Um, the credit did fluctuate because of the fact that I was using my credit card. Um, while simultaneously paying these debts, these derogatory marks down. What I was doing, I was experimenting with a credit card, as in I would pay it, and then, you know, I would use the credit card and I would pay a little bit, or pay a little bit now and then pay a little bit later, but I would never let it go um, past the pay date to where it would gain interest. Um, I would let it show that I had an account or a amount on the credit card and it would drop my credit score and what I would do I would pay it off and it would raise it up just a little bit above um, what it was prior to it dropping for me having an account on there. What I would do is I put 20 bucks in gas and I would let it show on Credit Karma and on um, Discover that I had an unpaid <clears throat> that I had an unpaid amount on there. It would register on both accounts. What that would do that would lower my credit score just a little bit now when i would pay the discover balance off it would raise my credit score up just a little bit above before i would have a balance on the credit card so i would take two steps back and three steps forward so after a while i paid off all my derogatory marks and once i did that my credit building sort of slowed down a little bit because I was only using the single credit card and I can only do so much with the credit card. Um, what I decided to do then was I went to the bank and I took out a secured loan for about $5,000. Now, if you don't know what a secured loan is, a secured loan is kind of similar to, it's pretty much the same thing as a secured credit card, being that I give them a certain amount of money as collateral and they give me that exact amount of money in credit back. It was easier to do it that way because I knew that I was gonna be able to get the loan for sure if I did a secured loan. So what I did then, after I got the loan, it dropped my credit score. First, it raised my credit score, then it dropped my credit score, and then it raised it again. Now, I'll get to why I did that maybe later in the video or maybe in a different video. But once I opened up this second line of credit, that's when I really started. That's when I really started to see a big change in the way my credit was acting, um, in both up and down. So, about a month after I ended up getting this loan, I got a letter from, or I got an email from Discover saying that, hey, I'm a good, responsible customer, so they're gonna give me my $200 deposit back, which they did. They sent it in a check, in the mail. And they raised my limit from then $200, my $200 line of credit to $1,500 line of credit. So, that is awesome. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you guys my next step into what I'm going to be doing with my credit game. Since I'm only using 30% of my available credit, <clears throat> now that my credit is high enough, to pay off my monthly note on this loan, I'm gonna use the credit card to pay off the monthly note. Then that will be me doubling my usage of credit. And you can do this many different ways. You can do this with two credit cards, with three credit cards, with a loan and a credit card. It just all depends really on how you fluctuate it. We'll get to that maybe in a later video, but you guys are gonna see in future videos of credit how I continue to build it and continue to you know move the credit move the kind of manipulate it into the way that I want it to go so but guys as of right now we have a 700 credit score and a $1,500 uh, credit limit on our now unsecured credit card so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into Credit Karma on the phone and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's been going on over the past seven months remember guys I've only I've did all of this in only seven months. So if I could do it, you could do it. And remember, I came into this not knowing anything at all. 
If I can do it, you can do it. Look, if you guys got any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Ask me questions in the comments below. I'm here to answer them and help you guys as much as possible. All right, so guys, let's see here. Boom, as you can see, as of December 1st, which is today, we have a 700 TransUnion and a, eight, a 685 Equifax. Now, it doesn't show on here exactly why it went up one point, but I do have a feeling it's because of my credit card becoming unsecured. See, it's, it doesn't show, it says we found no changes in TransUnion, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that. So I'm finally, finally at a good credit score on the TransUnion. I have a fair on the Equifax, but I know by the end of the year, I'll have this to at least 700 and this, of course, above 700. But look here, guys, over the past year, let's see if we can get this off. Over the past year, you can see, let's say six months. Over the past six months, you can see that I was down, no, past year, April 21, April 21st, 2019. I was at 517 and then today we are at finally 700 guys at seven months so check it out you see as you can see the fluctuation in this chart in the way you know the 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 credit fluctuates this is pretty much me experimenting and figuring out how the credit's working how with what i do affects the credit in what type of manner i'm just trying to figure out exactly how to do what I'm doing here. And as you guys can see, I'm I'm doing a great job, or at least I think I'm doing a great job. And so check this, and also as you can see here, payment history, 100, credit card utilization is zero because I don't have a balance on my credit card right now. Derogatory marks, zero, we paid them off. Look, even on uh, Equifax, there's zero, same here. Age of credit, five months. Reason is five months. I know I keep saying seven months, but as you can see here, my oldest account is seven months. My newest account is two months. My newest account would be the secured loan. I guess they average them together. I didn't know that about credit, but you want at least uh, two years. Well, I guess at least seven years, but we don't have that. We're just starting our credit journey. And total accounts. Let's see the total accounts. I bury your bank and Discover Financial Services. These are the only two accounts that I have. And as you can see here, the more accounts, the better. But you guys gotta remember, the more accounts you have, the more hard inquiries inquiries you'll have. And that can make a negative impact on your credit. So guys, as you guys can see, it, in seven, seven short months, we've done big things with our credit. And this has been probably by far the easiest, I mean the easiest venture I've done when it comes to anything financial. It, it, to me it's easier than budgeting, it's easier than investing, it's easier than anything else. I don't know why, maybe I just understand it a little bit better or I'm just having fun with building the credit, but if I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are a lot smarter than me. So if I can build my credit to this, you guys can too. And I'm not saying this is the best credit ever, but to me it's a big deal. And I know for a lot of you guys too, it's gonna be a big deal. And over time, it's gonna get even bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of the phone. Guys, you guys, as you can see, we are doing big things over here on my channel. Like I told you guys, so, <laughs> so you guys know my next step. My next step is now that I have a higher credit line for my credit card, I'm gonna use my credit card to start paying my loan off every month and then use cash to pay the credit up, to create to pay the credit card off. That way I'm doubling my time in doing it. And I do plan on paying the loan off by next year, by the end of next year. It is a three year loan or 60, or no, it is a 60 month loan. I think a five year loan. Um, the only reason I got a five year loan is to make my uh, payments as cheap as possible, uh, but I will be paying them off, paying it off by next year. But guys, next year, my plan is to, next year, my plan is to get a second credit card around springtime, spring, um, summertime, and then I'm gonna use my credit card now to pay 
the loan every month and then I'm gonna use the second credit card to pay the first credit card and then I'm gonna pay it the, la the second credit card cash. So that way I'll have three forms of credit always revolving until I pay the loan off. Um, there's different, like I said, there's different ways to do it guys. This is an excellent strategy to use, <laughs> but that is a ways to come. Uh, hopefully our score is around 750 when that comes and we can really start maximizing and getting it to maybe 800 by the end of next year or maybe by the summer. Who knows guys? Um, guys, if you found value out of this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or at least for the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button because you guys have been killing it lately. We have been killing it lately, guys. Also, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, or if you made it this far and you still haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and consider hitting that red subscribe button. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit that little notification bell to know the next time we come out with some more great information like this, guys. If you have any questions about how I did this or anything, go ahead and ask me in the comments below. Leave a comment, guys. We'll have an open discussion about this whole credit situation. Um, also, if you also if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you got to do is click one of these videos.